Hi, I'm Neil Cahoon. Welcome to Epson's 2020 ISE stand. I'm the Vice President of Professional Displays for Europe, Middle East, Africa and Russia. So Epson is world leader, is basically LCD projector, right? Yes, everything we make is Epson 3 LCD. Uh, our panels are produced and made in Japan and it's very important that we own all the proprietary technology for every projector that we sell. So what are these projectors we see up here? So here we have uh, three blended L12000Q projectors. Now these are native 4K resolution with our XO2 ultra short throw lens. So two unique competitive advantages of Epson you can see. First of all, the projectors themselves. This is native 4K. We don't use any pixel shifting or wobbling technology and our XO2 lens, 0.35 zero offset lens. And you can see here, we've got it blended in a beautiful virtual reality cave with our partners from Igloo. You can see here. How do you, how do you blend? We use the software system from our technology partner here. So in this case, it's Igloo. So we always partner up with uh, the most innovative partners to produce this software. So they've engaged with Epson and used their own proprietary technology to create this cave. Nice. So is this a top selling uh, professional market projector? Is it new? Yeah, so this is brand new. So this product is just being launched and we only launched it last month, these 12,000 Qs, already completely sold out. So yes, what you're seeing here is one of our most innovative technology products. We'll show you a few others on the stand as we walk around. Uh, so it's called the EBL 12,000Q. Does that mean 12,000 lumens? Yes, 12,000 lumens. And the Q is basically indicating that it's a 4K native resolution. All right, and you don't pixel shift at all, but nope, you have something absolutely. called uh, 4K enhanced. Yes, that's right. Is that some right. kind of uh, upscaling? What is, yeah, what exactly, is that's right. So that, that's basically, um, we call it wobblation or enhancing. And there's nothing wrong with that technology. It's something that Epson also is keen on, but this technology doesn't use any enhancement at all. So particularly for markets like simulation, uh, obviously rental and staging market, and this kind of uh, very, very high, high resolution, high rendering, then you would really want to have that native 4K resolution. So this is HDR. Does that yes. mean you have 10 bit colors, you have lots of, uh, lots of contrast? Yeah, exactly. We, we can send you some statistics afterwards that give you the kind of full breakdown of it, but it's our first installation projected to accommodate HDR. Nice. And uh, if you're looking over here, it's, it's a very popular corner here. What's yeah, happening yeah. here? Yeah, okay, so a couple of things. First of all, here we see it again with the native 4K product. Now we see this in portrait mode. It's very important that there are very few brands that you will see showing this projector in portrait mode with our UO4 lens. So we're doing this because we can show the power of the projector in portrait, where some of our competitors will see a drop off uh, in performance when it's rotated. But you can see here, got incredible performance, even in portrait mode. And this is with one of our short throw lenses. This the is really EPL showing off UO4. the brightness. No? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, For the brightness and the resolution. And remember, this is only 12,000 lumens of resolution. You walk around this show today and you'll see some very, very high resolution products in very dark environments. Where you look at Epson, there's no darkness in our environment. We don't have a ceiling yeah. on our stand, unlike some of our competitors. We're very proud to show this product. Only 12,000 lumens in terms of Pro AV, but look at the performance, which shows the innovative, unique technology that Epson has. And remember, this is Epson technology with Epson panels, Epson light engine. So uh, is it also some unique kind of uh, screen, like where it projected onto? Is there a special thick material that makes it shine and bright? Back? Is it like uh, shiny? Yeah, we, we, uh, we have a partnership with uh, AV Stumpfel. So this is an AV Stumpfel screen. So yes, yeah, so they have some proprietary technology to make sure that they obviously maintain as much light as possible. And uh, we thank Stumpfel for that. They're uh, all of our screens. And that's, that's, uh, that brings out the best of the technology, but of course, it doesn't matter how good the screen is if you get a huge drop off in light when you go into portrait mode or you don't have the resolution to show the projectors like this. This is pretty much like a three, three floor, three story house. Mm. It's, it's big. Absolutely. It's big and it's beautiful and look at the richness of the colours as well. So one of the things with Epson 3 LCD technology, particularly compared to one chip technology from DLP is that you get this incredible beautiful color brightness, color light outputs because of the three chips. So you get this beautiful rich 
primary colors that you can see on the screen just now, which is why we're showing these, these beautiful colors. They're really bringing to life. Almost have that feeling of 3D about it. You can put your hand in and touch it. And uh, so if you look at the, if you look at the uh, museums and uh, these kinds of markets, yeah. who's the leader? Is it Epson or is it uh, DLP? No, I mean, well, there's two, two things. First of all, Epson is the number one brand in projection technology. It's the number one brand in Pro EV technology. We're the number one for all projection technology, but also for 6,000 lumens and above, we are number one. In, in, in terms of quantity? Yeah, in terms of quantity, absolutely. So we have the highest market share of any brand and LCD has the highest technology share over DLP as well. So basically both LCD and Epson are the significant uh, majority of market share versus DLP. Here's another beautiful uh, demo. This is a very wide lens, right? Uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, we can have a little look here if I uh, walk past here. Yeah. So here we see, so this is uh, 1755. This is a 15,000 lumens projector. This is one of our best selling products. Um, this is with 4K enhancement and we have the short throw lens 0.47 to 0.57 to 1. This is the LUO3S. So it's a very big screen for yep. very short distance. Yep. Absolutely. For Epson, our lenses are one of our competitive advantages. So all our lenses are 4K, unlike many of our competition. And actually on test patterns, they're very, very close to 8K. What that means is we can drive them very, very hard. And you can see the performance does not drop off, despite the fact we're at quite a, quite a, a short distance here, up to 0.47. You also, with this projector, this is 15,000 lumens, it also has 4K enhancement technology, and it also has an integrated camera for, for automatic image correction. So that's something that's very um, proprietary to our technology, which is this built-in camera function. And when we come on to the bigger lumen projectors, the 30,000 lumen, you will see that our camera technology even does auto stacking, which reduces setup time when we're talking about big installations. But we'll talk about that when we get to the 30,000 lumens. All right. So it's a very popular, yeah. but it's not native 4K. No. But uh, what does enhance mean? Does that kind of mean double the resolution compared to Yeah. It, what, it, what it means is that it can take a 4K signal. Um, and basically it will remap the signal based on the native resolution of the projector. So we use technology to be able to enhance the image. And you can see here, this is a really, really uh, high quality image at a short distance. So you can see here that, I mean, we call it a next level viewing experience with this enhancement. So yes, of course, this is the ultimate to have a native 4K product, but of course it's expensive. And we know that for for some markets, then this is good enough. And What's the difference between uh, DLP's oscillations and what you do with enhanced? Ah, uh, well, uh, the thing is, if you're, you're not gonna, oscillating, if you, if you, no, if you're talking about the difference between DLP and LCD technology, then th there's a number of differences, and we can. Uh, it's probably good to talk about that at the end. Actually, okay. Let, let's talk okay. about that at the end. Uh, can you show some of the lenses? You have some uh, lenses yeah. you were talking about here? Daniel. Right? Daniel. Uh, is this part of what you're talking about, where you yes. have uh, a so, whole bunch of lenses? Okay, so one of the key things for Epson and one of our key competitive advantages is that we have one range of lenses from 5,500 lumens to 20,000 lumens, 12 in fact. No other brand in the market has such a small range of lenses and the 4K lenses at the same time. The same range of lenses from 5,500 to 20,000 and they're also 4K, which means with Epson, you're not having to invest a huge amount in additional lenses. When we bring out a new range of projectors, it's with the same lenses. And that, that in itself is one of the most unique pieces of technology, never mind the actual products themselves, but the ability to have the same range of lenses right across the range. We only have two lens ranges, this one and a 25 and 30,000 lumen lens range, which you see below. These are big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are for our uh, larger projector products that you'll see next door. Just at the end, I'll introduce you to Daniel and we can talk a little bit about the difference between 4K enhanced 
uh, Epson versus DLP technology, etc., etc. All right. Should we continue walking yeah. around? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's happening here? They are wearing a various, uh, which are like augmented reality glasses. If we had the Maverio BT350 on, we would be able to see information augmenting itself about the visitor experience that we are currently having. So here we mocked up. Um, you, one imagines that one's getting driven around, and I think that's Prague from uh, where I uh, remember. Um, and here we can see a potential tourist who's getting information about this site mapped onto what he's seeing. Because the, the Averio is pretty much uh, one of the leading AR glasses on the market, right? So these are, these are AR glasses rather than VR. So the difference is that these are augmenting on top of what you can see rather than you being wrapped in a virtual reality uh, cave. Because when you put VR glasses on, you can't see anything apart from the experience itself these we can see it's OLED this is OLED micro displays yeah they're, they're our OLED technology Your OLED. yeah so originally the first generation of these glasses were LCD and then we moved on to OLED technology and this is this is unique to, to Epson where it's absolute black as well so you get the full clarity with the glasses with the OLED technology which is the big difference so you're not losing any vision by putting the glasses on with the OLED technology. Uh, if you walk around here, there's a big wall, big... S what, what's this demo? What are you showing off here? So every every brand has a, let's say, a bit of a showstopper. So we, we call this Epson Unboxed. And this is like showing different transitions, showing graphics, sh mapping in an immersive environment. And at the end, you will see something appearing at the top to complete the overall viewing experience. And this is showing one of the key competitive advantages of projection as a technology, which is projection mapping. So projection mapping, more and more you see in the modern world, and this really can only be done with projection technology. And of course, we believe at Epson, we have the superior technology. And then you will see at the end, the complete the completion of the show. So these are the projectors over there. Yeah. It's not a real projection. It's a no, no, no. We can see here the projectors on top. And together with cameras, and somehow they can map. Yeah. So this is this is all done with our uh, agent, with our uh, our partner Crucial FX to set all this up. And it's it's like a it's like a show. We can see it. And so it's partly oral, it's partly visual, and then at the end you will see a, a final reveal. Nice. Uh, should we walk around this way? We can see here that we're simulating like, robotics, we're mapping robotics. Um, just to give an idea about the kind of power of the projection. And remember, this is quite a high uh, lux environment here. So of course, what we're seeing here is the cars being built. It's a relatively high lux environment actually, but we can still see there's a lot of impact here. It's are very those, intricate. Uh, enhanced bright displays? Yeah. They're not 14 native, right? No, these are 20,000 lumens. No, exactly. No. Because there. this is um, again done with a short throw lens, the uh, LUO3S. Oh. And there's the reveal at the end with the car. So that's your Formula One? Yeah. Mapped beautifully using our L20. Thousand U projector. Oh, cool! How many projectors you have so around this demo? You have a bunch of them around. Uh, we do. Like there's a, they're in pairs, kind of. Yeah, to, exactly. To get a big range. Uh, let's go around here. Um, so that's cool. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right, so ca can we continue the tour? We can. Yeah. So what's next? What so should we check? I think probably there's a couple of things left we want to show you. Um, so the highest brightness product that we have currently is 25,000 lumens, but this will now change in the summer to 30,000 lumens. Now the 30,000 lumen will come in two side, uh, two colors, black and white. Which ones? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then we can see here, well, this is the 25K. 
um, yeah. we'll show you the 30k in action because we've actually got it the 30k being used next door but the the 30,000 lumen which will replace this 25 will come with this new lens this new 0.35 ultra short throw lens and this in itself is an amazing piece of engineering so what's special about this short throw it's like an arms yeah yeah uh, and, and um, what goes into making, a, like this is a big professional projector, what's in here? What's well, happening there? The, the, the thing about this projector is it might seem big to you, but actually if it was next to most of the competition, it would actually seem very small. So you can have a look at some of the other projectors around in this show, and actually this is incredibly compact. The customer insight that we received here is that we want bright, but we also want compact. And as we move from the 25 to the 30K, we also have features such as the camera mode where we can do auto stacking. And also we have interchangeable boards. So in terms of like connectivity and distribution of signal, then we are also future proofing this uh, technology at the same time. Where did the boards go? Uh, at the site. On the site? Is here. it like on this area here? Yeah. yeah. You just swap one yeah. out, put the other one in? Yes, exactly. So you make them future-proof? Yes, exactly. So this is the 20,000 lumens. 20,000 lumens in white. We can see the 25,000 and we can finish with the 30,000 that you'll see double stacked next door where we have nearly 60,000 lumens of light. Bright, right. compact, a very, very good price. What, um, so when we see this uh, awesome big display, uh, what are the markets? Can you list them a little bit? Is like professional? Is it is it cinema or not cinema? Not cinema. These are not cinema products. For that kind of product, you're looking at uh, first of all rental and staging. We're also looking at museums, for example. That's quite big. Auditoriums. Um, the, the, there really is no limit as to where these can be used. Obviously, projection mapping is one of the key things. Um, they're just a handful of the, the, the large ones. Digital signage, uh, and even in some corporate environments, kind of big boardroom environments as well, potentially they could have these types of products. And Epson has been doing these LCD projectors for like decades? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and absolutely. Um, we only make LCD. Um, now we're moving into this area, which is collaborative meetings, collaborative learning. Um, so again, we're using laser technology here. And we can see here that um, we're also the leading brand in all projection technology, not just the, the real high end here. So here we can see Trevor demonstrating a kind of what could be a collaborative meeting environment, a virtual meeting where um, we, can, we can talk to somebody else here that's in the meeting and we can cross collaborate with each other and these kind of things. So it's using a short throw yeah. and then some sensing happening there on yes. the wall. Yes, exactly. I IR? That's right. Yeah. Infrared maybe? Yeah. Um, all right. So this is a busy for the collaboration area? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, the 30,000 you're showing it? 30,000 we can show you next yeah. door. Maybe just before we show you that to finish, we can also show you um, our light scene technology. And this is all about visual experience. Yeah. You can see how popular this is. Sorry. And what we can show here is that we, we've, we actually have spent a lot of money on research. Uh, we've done an experiential research where we talked to 10,000 consumers in 26 different countries. And we had some really interesting insights where they showed that if a customers one in three customers that we surveyed that were millennials said that if they saw an augmented and interactive retail premises they would go in and see it compared yeah. to a standard static display so what we can see here is if you are a retailer and you are fighting against e-tail here we can show augmented reality so this might be your highest margin product your best selling product compared to say a static display you can change things you can change the messages we can see here that nearly 70% of millennials in that survey I mentioned said that they would go into a virtual uh, experiential shopping premises that otherwise they wouldn't have done. So this is really enhancing the shopping experience. And we can see here different solutions. Here we have uh, a furniture store, for example, where we can we can change, as they're showing, we can change the, uh, the, the backgrounds, we can augment different colors onto the, uh, the furniture. So from a, from a retailer's point of view, this is showing different colors, different experience at home. The, the chances of a sale in this, in this environment are much higher. Nice. Uh, do you have uh, some customers already implementing all this? Yes, yeah, absolutely. So for example, 
uh, with uh, this product, the light scene, uh, we already have a, a, some interesting partnerships. For example, IKEA in Poland is, is one that we've already got this product into. So nice. we're already partnering with some big global brands such as IKEA, for example. And uh, what is this kind of protector? It's very yeah. uh, targeted lens. Yeah, right? so this is, uh, this, this, is the, uh, this product here. This is the light scene EV100 series. And the insight that we received from the market was that our customers want to engage with projection, but they found it maybe a little bit too big or the wrong size. So you can see here that this is built to go on a lighting track. Uh, this is much smaller, more aesthetically pleasing than a standard projector. But it delivers an incredible, it packs a real punch. And the key thing about projection is that unlike other technologies, you can have this wall back when it's not being used. So you can project onto a wall, there's no big screen, there's no LED here, there's no big flat panel. This is a standard wall that we can project onto and when you turn it off you can have the wall back. And in retail environments we know that space is at a premium. Cool. Let's uh, finish on that 30k. Yeah, this one also, and... Ah, this is the EBW70. So again, this is another, you know, when we talk about uh, technology, what we're trying to do here is make it small and portable. So this is a portable laser signage projector. We can get up to 150 inches with this really small projector, and uh, it's 2,000 uh, lumens, HD resolution, and it's easy to install, so, for Epson, it's really important to have fit and forget. So this is a very simple to install setup, but delivers a really, really nice screen. It's a laser signage projector. We see, inch. and beautiful performance as well. All right. That 30K. Yeah. Is here. Oh. So these are two 30K projectors stacked. This is nearly 60,000 lumens of light with the two 30K projectors. So we're often asked, are you gonna bring a 50K or 60K? And our answer is we don't need to, because with two 30Ks, you can get virtually the same amount of light, but the usage out of these projectors is much higher, because obviously the demand for 50 or 60K projectors is much lower than the demand for 30K. And we can see this also has the interface boards, it's compatible with the current 25K that you saw earlier, and it has this integrated camera that works with our projection software, including this auto stacking assist and mechanical shutter, which obviously is very, very important in the live events market. And we're showing this with a short throw lens. So you're showing it here, it looks very, very bright. Yeah, yeah, uh, how, it's beautiful. How soon is, um, is this on the market? In the summertime, this will be out in June. And uh, are there a lot of pre-orders happening already? There are, yes. I mean, this, this is, uh, is going to be an extremely popular model. We're already talking to a number of our partners, not just orders for rental and staging, but also orders for projects as well. But obviously, confidentiality can't talk too much about that. Um, so even though Epson has been doing it for, for decades, right? Uh, yeah. But the market is really booming, right? Yeah, yeah. This stuff is big, happening. Yes. It's, it's growing fast. Yeah, we've been number one in projection since 2001 but we're also now number one in Pro AV projection. And absolutely, we, are, we believe at Epson that we are growing the projection market again with this type of technology. So the projection market for us is, is, is growing, full of opportunities, and that's why all of our product innovation is built with the customer in mind. We spend a lot of time talking to customers, asking them what they want, and our strategic planning is based on that customer insight. Nice. And uh, I can I can introduce yeah. you to Daniel. You can talk a little bit about yeah. You had a couple of questions about the uh, 4K enhancements and the differences, for example. L LCD is that the perfect match for projections? Um, totally. So the the benefit of LCD an LCD system is it's using um, a three chip technology, not a single chip technology, which means you're getting all the colour reproduction at the same time, which means we can get much brighter, much more vivid images um, from the same um, from the same brightness as you would see claimed by other manufacturers. So, for example, behind you, you see just what is just 12,000 lumens um, on a very large four meter high image um, using three LCD technology. If you sell that but from our competitors using single single chip solutions, they would need either two or three times that amount of brightness, or they would use uh, multiple projectors to fill that same screen. So that's really where the benefit of LCD comes in that by using the multicolor, um, the three-chip system. 
Um, LCD is pretty much perfect for putting a bunch of light through the liquid crystal. Yeah. And to it's the whole point is having a backlight. So it's uh, perfect for protections also, right? Yeah. So the, the, all the, the protection systems have their you know, all have their, their benefits, but LCD gives you that. Um, consistent colour and high, high, high image quality at a reasonable price compared to, um, to come by competitor solutions. There are other three chip solutions out there but they're much much more expensive for the same, for the same solution. Uh, but uh, there might also be some, um, let's say, some different kind of challenges in reaching different things. Like who's going to be the first one to do 8K projectors? How far in the future is that maybe? Um, there are Concepts for 8K projectors already out there. The challenge, the big challenge for um, for the projection market is not so much about the ability to produce the hardware to produce that image. It's actually more driven by the fact there's nothing out there to deliver this content to it in the first place. So in the past we saw the projection market or the display market was driven by the delivery systems. Now we're finding it's the opposite way around, that the displays are actually pulling the dis delivery systems through. So even today, delivering good quality 4K over any distance is almost impossible. And there are so few good quality affordable solutions for, for, for true 4K for the large images. Even for ourselves, for our own stands, we still face real challenges finding good solutions for delivering that. 8K takes that to a whole nother level. If you think you need to then four times the amount of data you already need for 4K, so you're still looking 16 times the amount of data you need for an HD signal, that becomes incredibly challenging. Um, the projectors, in theory, yes, we could produce them. Um, and, you know, displays technologies could exist to do it, but there's just not the delivery system to give them the imagery, image quality they need. Is it because all these compression technologies, you would see the artifacts because the screen is so big? So it's actually not something you can do with the regular 8K TVs. They're just only 75, 85 inch. Here you want to do like yeah. a 200 to, inch or something. Yeah. So you to, see to the be honest, artifacts. to see the benefit of such a high resolution, you need a very extremely large screen. The problem is that that stretches any artifacts within an image within the data very quickly, and it's unlike the home environment where you may be transmitting that distance that it signal over one or two meters at most here we're talking about a minimum transmission distance of 15 20 meters it becomes a very different technology that's needed to, to deliver over that distance and be consistent as well you can't afford any drop in signal if you want to project, project multiple images all at the same time you have to rely on sync synchronization again something's not a concern for a single image at home now we have hdmi 2.1 so potentially that, that would be a good solution, right? Just connect a long HDMI cable? <coughs> no, an HDMI cable at best for, for video, maybe 10 meters. For audio, not much more than five meters over a single HDMI cable. So again, fine for the home environment, absolutely not the solution for a Pro V market. They want to do it with fiber, no? Like uh, optical, fi fiber is a solution, optical. but it's a very expensive solution. There's no standardization for it. So there are around six different options at the moment in the market, and that is expanding. Um, so until there's some standardization, and even then, the way of getting compressing that data even to fit down a fiber cable is still extremely challenging. And when you look at this one, this is an enhanced 4K. So what, how does the enhanced 4K compare with the DLP uh, oscillating? So trick? this uses um, so this is using our 4K enhancement technology. So it's using standard WXGA chip, but it's doubling the pixels by using a single channel. Um, shifting technology to give us uh, close to 4K uh, image quality. So it is shifting twice. So it's using a shifting technology. That's compared to this product which is a native 4K, so you're actually getting a genuine native 4K resolution on the screen, something that very few people can offer at this level of product. Um, so you'll see most of the systems are again using some sort of wobbling so the system. oscillating, the wobbling is similar. Yeah. Which on a small scale that can look okay, but when you start going up to large scale, or particularly if you want to look at detailed information, <coughs> you can really see the effects of that, that wobbling system. Does Epson only wobble twice? Like it's not possible to wobble four times? Like take a 4K chip, wobble it four times, you have 8K. Uh, in theory, yes, we could do that, but at the moment, the, we don't feel we can produce a good enough image quality to do that. Right. Um, so it's something we're thinking about for the future, but the processing capabilities are not there at the moment. All right. Uh, and uh, in terms of brightness and contrast, who can achieve more? Is it DLP or is it L LCD? 3 From a native contrast point of view, LCD will always offer a higher native contrast. So you will very rarely see native contrast quoted by any of our competitors. But we will quote, for this level of products, around 2,000 to 1 native contrast, um, and up to 3,000 to 1 native contrast on some of our larger projectors. 
when compared to DLP technology, they're normally around about six to 800 to one native contrast ratio. And in terms of brightness, is there any limitations with LCD compared to with the competitor? Like, um, who can get the brightest? Uh, it's not a question of who can get the brightest, it's how big and how expensive do you want that brightness to be. So, you know, any of the manufacturers could produce a projector that could produce 100, 200,000 lumens, but that would be incredibly expensive and incredibly large. The technology itself, yes, can be, can be developed to work at that, that, on that scale. Whichever technology is, you need a larger chip to go to, large, to those larger brightnesses because you just can't reflect that much more light or transmit that much more light through a small chip. Does Epson talk about working in the micro LED space? Or is there a, do, you, do you see any chance that micro LEDs will provide a new competitor to this kind of business? Not currently, no. It's not something we're, 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 we're concerned with at the moment. All right. So just getting more and more brightness, more uh, packing more stuff into making all the customers happy with all kinds of uh, new projects. It gives a lot of new ideas. When people see this, they can be saying, I want to do this, I want to do that. Yeah, we're, we're very much about giving the customers the tools to, to produce the solution they want. So it's not about selling a box, it's about selling a solution. And some tools right here, what, is it, what are those tools? When you talk about the projection so This is our EPPT software. Um, software, about some professional tools. This is for multi-projection setup, so it makes it really easy um, through the software to connect multiple projectors to a network, um, and then you um, can control them, set them up, monitor them as well. So we've got the, the setup over there, you can see um, what, what condition the projectors are in, are they, um, you know, what temperature they're at, what are they, are they on, are they okay? And that can be done either locally or from a distance. So you could be using that software for multiple sites across, across the country, across the world, across the town. Um, so it gives you a real flexibility of being able to control and keep an eye on your products.